In today's funny story joke, we venture into the everyday chaos of Bob's life that is a so-called a nervous breakdown trapped in a human body. Grab your popcorn because we're about to witness a fashion crisis messier than Bob's attempts to match socks on a Monday morning. Trust us, it's an uproarious comedy of errors in his wardrobe. Picture a man so uptight his tie could be a ruler and his stress level rivals a stapler on the fritz. But wait, a glimmer of rebellion shines brighter than the soul-sucking fluorescent lights, an earring on Bob's ear. Bob, a man as rigid as a stapler, sat hunched over his computer in a beige cubicle. The fluorescent lights buzzed, mirroring his constant tension. His crisp white shirt, ironed that morning, wrinkles were blasphemy, stood at attention beneath a tie perfectly aligned. Behind him, the company dress code hung like a judge, highlighted in his red pen. A glint of silver caught Harry's eye, a diamond earring on Bob's ear. This was a fashion rebellion in the heart of conformity. Whoa, Bob, what's with the earring? Harry asks, eyes wide in shock. Bob mumbles. Uh, it's not a big deal, just an accessory. Yes, an accessory. A mischievous glint sparked in Harry's eyes as he scooted closer. Bob, company policy and excessive jewelry. Remember the time Marsha wore that scarf that could be seen from space? You, the company code of conduct maniac, made her believe we practically needed sunglasses indoors. You're braver than I thought. He wheezed, barely containing a laugh. Different. This is a, a bold whisper of rebellion. Very subtle. Definitely within company regulations, we need to express ourselves, you know. His voice, however, lacked the usual conviction, betraying the panic rising in his chest. Harry, a man whose sense of humor usually resided somewhere between a damp sock and a tax audit, did a comedic spit take, worthy of a stand-up routine, enjoying his friend so-called seemed to be misery. Papers fluttered around him like startled pigeons as he tried and failed to stifle a laugh that threatened to morph into a full-blown hyena impersonation. Wiping a tear from his eye, he wheezed. Whoa, Bob, what's with the earring? Flustered, Bob protests. A pirate look? It's not a pirate look. It's sophisticated. And it hasn't been long. Just a few days. Flashback. The aroma of greasy goodness filled the air as Bob, a man who planned his lunch breaks with the precision of a brain surgeon, indulged in his once-a-month cheat meal. A double cheeseburger with extra everything from his favorite, and only slightly questionable, takeout joint. Leaning over to grab a napkin from the passenger seat, a sound like a tiny anvil hitting the floor shattered the blissful silence. There, nestled amongst stray french fries and questionable burger remnants, lay a single diamond earring glinting accusingly under the dim truck light. Bob stared at it, his mind conjuring images of disapproving glances from his wife and a scathing memo from HR about unidentified foreign objects in company vehicles present. The color drained from Bob's face faster than you could say dress code violation. The earring, once a source of mild curiosity for his co-worker, now felt like a ticking time bomb strapped to his earlobe. Bob whispers, Uh, actually, it's been since my wife found it in my truck. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.